Hey folks, here at OS Reviews, you're watching our video first look and a quick review of the Haptime Comma Weather Station. It's called this because of the shape of the unit that, again, resembles a comma, and there's also a wireless unit that you would stick outdoors for you to get an accurate read of the temperature uh, and more weather details that we'll take a closer look at. This is also known as the YGH312 and can be found for under 20 bucks on Amazon, Alibaba, or through Haptime's own website. So this is a company based in Shen in China, and although they aren't super well known here in the United States, they do have a pretty dense product catalog of various home products, uh, mostly accessories, whether it's smart lights, alarm clocks, chargers, docks, uh, weather stations, pedometers, fitness trackers, and the list just goes on and on. So this is just one recent example they've come out with. Taking a look at the packaging here, very simple, just some images. There is a inverted display, which I always like to see uh, since it makes things slightly easier to read and also is uh, more futuristic in my opinion than just a traditional LCD panel and you can see it shows your indoor outdoor temperature there is an alarm snooze function so you can use this as a regular alarm clock which is nice and of course it takes traditional batteries to set up so inside the packaging we have access to just the comma weather station the wireless uh, receiver or the sensor that you pop outdoors and this is made out of plastic we have a standard wall charger that plugs in using a traditional USB. And there's also a micro USB cable for providing power to the weather station or the alarm clock. Uh, this is actually pretty nice. It means that you don't have to use regular batteries and consistently swap them out. It's also cool that they chose a regular charging port as opposed to a proprietary one that we often see in these low-cost alarm clocks. Finally, there is an instruction manual printed in Chinese as well as in English that documents the various ports as well as functions. So let's take a closer look at the comma station first. You can see it's extremely shiny and glossy, it's, but overall the design is definitely clean and futuristic. Uh, it's kind of cute looking, and if we turn it over, there's access to the mono speaker, which is uh, used for the alarm function, and there's also access to the settings that you can use to program the time, date info, and degrees in Celsius or Fahrenheit. Finally, there's that standard micro USB port for charger, a dedicated power on off switch, so here's the station plugged into power. The uh, wireless module or the sensor for outdoors does require two AAA batteries that are not included and you can swap these out after a year of usage and they should still be fine. There's an LED light on the top here that will glow and flash when you first put in batteries and it's also going to flash when batteries are running low. This is also waterproof, even though it doesn't seem like it, there aren't any rubber seals, but you can put it or mount it outdoors, and again, it should be fine with some light uh, rain or splashes, but obviously if it uh, gets submerged in water, it's not going to survive. So we can see that when the sensor you know, has batteries inserted, it will quickly sync and try to locate it, and based on the temperature settings, it will try to approximate, you know, what the weather is like outdoors. For instance, right now it's thinking that it's a little bit cloudy with some sporadic sunlight. That seems fairly accurate. Uh, we're in Seattle, Washington right now, and that is indeed the weather. There's a bit of clouds in the sky, but it's also sunny. Of course, the sensor module is indoors at the moment, but in our brief testing, it did seem reasonably accurate. Um, and of course, it also shows some other weather statuses. If if there are emergencies, like if it's raining really hard or if there's a snowstorm, it also is capable of showing those things on the display. Uh, and overall, it does remain quite visible and readable even indoors when there is moderate lighting around you. You can see that there's a violet for the time. You can't change the colors around, unfortunately, but it looks, again, quite sleek. There's also indoor temperature reading, outdoor temperature reading. So for indoors, it's using a sensor built directly into the comma weather station. And for outdoors, obviously, it's using this module. Transmission uh, kind of distance here is decent. I would say it, I would prefer it would prefer that you stay within uh, one floor. So if you are having the weather station in your bedroom and your bedroom is upstairs and this is downstairs, it has to go through multiple levels of walls. The receiver isn't that strong and can't pass the information to the station. It's going to display a warning sign. However, if you are you know, within the same story and you have just one or two layers of walls, maybe you're in the bedroom, you just pop this into the window uh, outside of your, of your room, that works the best and transmission doesn't have any issues. So you can see the temperature being read here. There's also a humidity measurement, so right now 51% humidity 
humidity, and some other details about this uh, device. You can see very closely the sensors are located at the leg of the comma for temperature, which is pretty interesting. And in terms of setting up alarms, the speaker is quite loud. What's interesting is that the snooze key is technically located at the base of the unit, and that's because you can press the entire thing down once to snooze your alarm, which is actually pretty cool, and it works quite well. Uh, you can also, of course, long hold to turn the alarm completely off. Um, otherwise, I can tap on the M slash S key here to cycle through some other modes like the month and the day, uh, the time of the alarm that I can then program and set up, and that goes back to the time information. So everything is pretty easy to use. You can tap on the plus or minus keys to specifically set up the time or date information. Um, other things to know, again, the transmission distance between this and the outdoor receiver is roughly 30 meters, uh, which is, again, decent. And in terms of tolerance, it, the instruction manual claims that it's within one degree Celsius uh, for temperature and similar for humidity as well. We tried comparing this with an indoor uh, thermostat mounted into the house in addition to some other uh, local weather stations and of course some other uh, similar weather units that we've reviewed in the past and it seems about accurate. It's within one degree, maybe sometimes two degrees for the outdoor sensor, but uh, overall it's close enough and definitely good enough I think for most folks, especially at this sub, -dollar, sub $20 price tag. So all in all, I think that the comma weather station is a really clever idea just because not only is, a, it, is it a good alarm clock, it also looks quite cute, unique, and offers this weather functionality. It might not be the most advanced or smart alarm per se, but if you're worried predominantly about the weather and humidity info about your house and outdoors, uh, then this could be a good option, especially for a non-Wi-Fi or Bluetooth enabled model. You can check out more details about this in our article coming out soon, but for now this has been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. This has been the Haptime uh, Comma Weather Station.